Hey guys, this is FP Plays, and welcome to today's episode of Skyward Sword HD. Last time we opened up a beam of light uh, in the Thunderhead, but before we go check that out, um, there's still a couple things. Oops. Still a couple things I want to do on Skyloft. So there's one side quest that uh, for sure opened up that we can go do. And I would also like to hopefully sell some things uh, to get enough money for the Sacred Shield. So we're going to do that real quick before heading on with the main story. Come to think of it, I don't know why I always go to sleep in Link's bed when you can literally do it in anyone's bed and it would be faster. But whatever. I'm just gonna keep checking this until like he finally decides to get in shape. I don't know if it's dependent on like how many nights pass or um, if it's more just like what point in the game you get to. But anyway, this very creepy thing has uh, been activated. So there's kind of a Majora's Mask reference there. Because, if you recall, that is the restroom, and in Majora's Mask, there's uh, also a hand in a restroom that asks you for paper. Let's see, I'll sell... Honestly, I'll just sell all of them at this point. <laughs> uh, we'll sell the Sand Cicada. Oh, we only have one, but... Might as well sell it. <laughs> Alright, so now we should be able to buy the Sacred Shield. Although we won't have any money left after that. So I think I'm going to go sell some stuff to Rupin. Ooh, so I just realized on my way that we can get some, uh, fireflies. Oh, come on. What the heck? That's actually my first one. I'm actually surprised at how many bugs are still missing from my collection there. But anyway, back to Rupin's house. Okay, we have plenty of Amber Relic to go around. Let's just sell five of those. And then, how much of that other stuff do I have? Let's see, uh, I don't want to get rid of those. Don't want to get rid of my tumbleweed. So I think I'll be content with that. 
then I'm just gonna switch back to daytime right here. Alright, so now we should be able to afford the Sacred Shield. And uh, it, and especially the upgraded versions that you can get, are definitely, well, the second best shield in the game. It's the best shield we're gonna get for a long, long time. Uh, but first, looks like we'll have to pay a visit to the item check. I don't think we'll need the wooden shield anymore. I hope she would sort it. Do I have to like... Uh, whatever. Let's see. That looks good. That's just my OCD acting up, but anyway, that should be good. Alright, we finally got our hands on this. So yeah, you do want to be careful of its low durability, but um, it is a really good shield, and especially once you upgrade it, it gets even better. I don't think I can upgrade it yet, but it's worth checking out. Oops. Oh yeah, we're nowhere near being able to do that. That's okay, though. We'll get there eventually. And then I think if we go back to the Night Academy, we should be able to finish the... Um, the side quest we started with the uh, restroom ghost. Does she have a quest for us? I don't remember that. These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. Who in the world is in there? I just wish they'd pipe down. Okay, so she's just telling us about the same quest. Let's see. If we find Colin, he should have the next part of the quest for us. Is he in here, maybe? No, Karain's in here. Hi. Hey, Link, what do you think about Pippet? He's nice. <laughs> yes, yes he is. He's kind and caring and handsome and wonderful. Oh dear, I don't know what's come over me all of a sudden. Sorry for bothering you with such an awkward question. Well, Karain, uh, good luck with that. Alright, Colin hopefully is in here. No? Okay, actually, I think I remember where he is. Nope, not in here either, apparently. I'm pretty sure he ends up taking over Groose's room, but... Alright, maybe we can't do the next part of that quest yet. Oh well, we'll find him eventually. Oh, there he is. I walked right past him. Hmm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Link, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me. Dilemma? What? You want to hear about it? Huh, normally I would never, ever tell someone like you. But these are dire times. 
Come to think of it, you might be just the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that. But whatever, let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Uh huh? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in the restroom at night who wants... paper? You fool, how dare you? This is no ordinary piece of paper, it's a letter. A very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like a... Alright, fine, it's a love letter. And that is why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up. The person you must give it to is a girl. An upperclassman. Her name is Karain. You know who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Here it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you. So don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? I'm counting on you, Link. Get to it. If you don't mess this up, maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. Yeah... That's great, Colin. You keep thinking that. So what's cool about this quest is that there's actually two different endings. You can give it to the restroom lady. And you can also go give it to Karain. It is kind of a moral dilemma, but... You know what, like, Colin tried his best, so I would feel really bad if I didn't give it to Karain, so we're gonna go do that. Oh, Pippet, how can I get you to notice me? Ah, Link! Uh, what's the matter? Do you, uh, need something? wonder if he heard what I was just talking about. Huh? A letter? From me? Could it be from Pippet? Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'll just take that. I wonder who it's from. Whoa. That's some really terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind that. Let's see what it says. Greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me. Your brave knight, Colin. Wow, this Colin guy, isn't he one of Groose's flunkies? And this... this is a love letter from that Colin kid, right? Who boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to say, he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. Ha, huh, as if. Uh, I wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. Well, let's go find out. Yeah. What's up, Link? Huh? Karain got a love letter? I see. That's interesting. Wow. Um, what do you think she intends to do? Beats me. So you don't know? Well, that's going to bother me until I find out. Oh, I mean, uh, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karain, you know? We're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about it. But you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high ideals of our night school, right? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all, you know what I mean? 
so I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? And what about me? I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? I'm not wrong about this, am I? You like her? No. What? Don't be ridiculous, Link. I don't even understand how you could make such a wild accusation. No. Well, either way... I don't suppose you'd mind asking her what her decision is going to be, would you? Sure thing. You're the one who sent the letter, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a wonderful love letter, thank you. <laughs> it wasn't that great. And, um, what's your answer? My answer? Ah, uh, my answer. Oh, please, please go out with me. Wait! I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, uh, I want to ask you out. What? Hey, hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? Uh, I want to go out with Pippet. Ha! See that, you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks. Uh, wait a second. Wait, really? Truly? You choose me? <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> Link. When you told me about the letter, it was at that moment I finally realized. I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might never have even noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful. I don't know how I can ever thank you. So, that's... that kind of stings. I mean... Like, obviously these two are going to be a much better couple than uh, Colin and Karain, but... Man, he kind of stole Colin's moment a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> ah well, Colin's a jerk anyway. So I'm pretty sure now, if you... If I were to make it nighttime again, I think the hand is just gone. Don't really know what happens to it, but I think it's just gone. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that little love triangle going on. And I hope to see you in the next episode.